uh, once a person said that Peru is a rich man in poor clothes or something like that. And it's because we do have so many resources. We are so rich in culture, in resources, in uh, food. In Peru, it means going out and planning some sort of small trip. It could be, uh, most, most of the times it's internally, so you just travel to a different place in Peru with your friends. The thing that I would um, highlight about Peru the most, besides the food, is the people. For me, it's a place where people struggle, but also strive to be better. It's full of creative people. I think, nevertheless, if we just ignore something as common as money, I think Peru could be seen as one of the richest countries in the world. What are some cultural differences you have noticed between your home country and the country where you're studying right now, so between Peru and Boston? So, I think food might be one of the biggest uh, cultural differences. Coming from Puerto Rico, I used to gather with a lot of uh, musician friends that play obviously Latin music. And coming here, not having that music everywhere, almost nowhere, um, for me it was a challenge to start gathering with people. Also, I think nightlife is very different. And as an architecture student, I don't really have that much time to go out. So whenever I do, I want to make it count. And I, uh, feel, I feel a little bit bummed out that Boston doesn't have as much of a nightlife as Peru does. So for me, those are last hours after midnight. <laughs> What are some of uh, the biggest challenges you have faced as a foreign student and how have you been able to overcome them? Um, I think mainly just adjusting to a new routine, not having um, the same support system as I did in Peru. Uh, my friends being away, my family being away as well. In the beginning was being um, far from my family because in Puerto Rico this is a cultural um, thing that we used to be very close in between families and that was the first time I was far from my family but I have found um, Hispanic people here and I have made a new family, new friends and that has been like I feel far from my family but I don't feel that far because I have, I have people that speak my language that we can, you know, support each other, and it has been such a great support for me. But um, I think related to my career, it's also some sort of um, safe space that I had already created for me in Peru, and uh, it's just basically knowing that whenever I go to a place, I'm going to meet a certain uh, person that's going to help me with something that I need to get sorted out and here I had to find that for myself all over again so that was I think one of the biggest challenges. Can you share some of the ways you have been able to connect with other students and the community while studying abroad? So I think a big part is that we do have a lot of group projects and uh, they're usually um, very much long term throughout the semester and they involve a lot of work to be done uh, during the weekends so meeting with people during the weekends was some sort of it begins with working together it ends with hanging out so berkeley have this game room where they have many games they have ping pong um, pool um, when i came to that room I saw the pool table, I somehow I got in love, like really in love, deep in love with pool. And I have been getting to practice um, and spend a lot of time in there when I have extra time or free time. And I started to make a lot of friends um, that also were in love with pool and they love to go all the time to the pool table. And I don't go that often now, but when I used to go there, I, that, that's where I started to make my friends that I have got from Berkeley. And it has been, I'm grateful for having so much pool and all the people that I have known um, through pool. 
also uh, joining any kind of a student on campus, a student life, uh, here at the, Nor uh, the uh, Latinx uh, Cultural Center. I also met a lot of people and they also come from a different, I'm sorry, from a similar background as myself. So that was also another way of making friends. What advice would you give to other foreign students who are considering to come and study here? Uh, so I think one of the main things is to come with a different uh, with a clean slate kind of uh, mindset. Stay true to why you came here and what you came seeking and also be aware that not everybody has the opportunity to come here and you have got the opportunity to come here and you need to take the most from it. Puerto Rico is home for me. I have all my family, all my friends. Um, it doesn't matter where I'm at um, in Puerto Rico, I know where I am. I know how the place is called. Puerto Rico is my home in all the ways. <laughs>